Hello YouTube, my name is Denny and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the ultimate weapon for free. This weapon is best in slot free to play option for the uncontested spin to win machine, the booba sword lady and the CEO of Geo. Some of you may ask why did I not include the catch in my get free weapons video and well there is a catch. Although this weapon is completely free to play friendly you can only get it by catching fish. Uh, not like this. You have to go fishing and then, after getting a certain amount of specific fish, you will have the option to buy it from a vendor. You know, buy it and then it's sold out. Is it really free if you have to buy it? Anyway, this leads me to first part of this guide. How to catch fish the correct way. To unlock fishing, you first have to complete quests that you will get after you unlock your teapot. When can you unlock your teapot? After completing Lua's storyline plus reaching adventure rank 35. The catch can only be bought from a vendor in Inazuma, so you have to make your way there and get dragged into civil war. No pacifist quest there. And last but not least, go fishing. I'm going to show you a map with fishing spots later in this video, but first, since you now know what needs to be done before you go fishing, I'm going to swim into second part of this guide and that is how to efficiently catch fish. In total, this is what we are going to need. The focus is on medakas first. Let me explain what I'm talking about. You can craft only one type of bait after unlocking fishing. To get the other three types, you have to obtain three blueprints from Mondstadt's fisherman. Those can be exchanged for three medakas each. While fishing for medakas, you can start getting some of the other fish as well, since you also get 10 baits from each type for free. Now that you know the recipes and crafted enough of baits, the fishing season can officially start. With me showing you each spot you want to visit, going from Monsta to Liyue and keeping the Inazuma with the most important spot for last. In Monsta, there are four spots you want to visit. One in the Stormbearer's Mountain near waypoint, two in the cider lake and one close to down winery. In Liyue, you want to head to Chingsa village and parkour your way to the middle of this lake. Then paraglide from Wangshu Inn, visit the broken bridge, use the domain teleport that you never use and Finally, go to oh my god why is it so far away I had walking spot at the southern tip of Liyue. First stop in Inazuma is in Narito near a waypoint. Second is next to a shipwreck on Nazuchi beach. And Sarai Island contains two spots that are next to each other that we want to visit as well. And the very last one, the most important spot with fish that does not appear anywhere else the Raimei anglerfish is located here in the middle of the sea. You have to fight off abyss mage and cryo slimes before you start fishing here, so be sure to bring some pyro with you. An important info about this fish is that it only spawns at night. Here are all the maps once again for your convenience. While you are looking at the map, let me shamelessly promote myself and tell you that I also stream on twitch.tv slash DennyTheFool. If you found this video to be entertaining and or helpful, subscribing here and following on Twitch are two great ways how you can support my work. It's free! Things to keep in mind while fishing. Some fish might not be on display right away and will only spawn after you finish some of their brethren first. Each spot contains different fish during day and during night, so be sure to time travel at each one of them. Fish take 3 days to respawn. 3 real world days. To speed up the whole process, you can visit worlds of other players and grab their fish. Don't keep it a secret though, let them know what your intentions are right away. Now you know how to unlock fishing and how it works, where to catch fish and where to get the catch. Congrats! Enjoy farming the weapon ascension materials.